हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टेक टॉक एंड टेक अनबॉक्स In today's video, we will see the Unified Network Application 8.0.7, which is just released as a general access available for the all the users to upgrade. I will put down a link of the community release note in the description. You can check that out. So this uh, new controller version brought a new features called. Uh, radio manager where you can manage all of your radio settings and configuration even you can create a new radio settings also they bought a new uh, uh, tab called port manager where you can manage all of your ports of the switch ports even the udm pro or the gateway ports even you can view the vlan sections like the untag and v uh, untag uh, and tag vlan you can view the vlan section has been improved also they brought a sites overview full overview of sites on the new ui which was only available on the legacy ui so uh, on this controller version you can check the sites overview under the site switchers also they bought a wired guard vpn client so all of those settings and the configuration we will check in this video so unify network application 8.0.7 which is just uh, released as a journal access uh, like 15 minutes ago if you check under the community.ui.com so under the overview it says it adds support for radio manager wired card vpn client and sites overview on the new ui and improve the port manager section by adding an overview of all ports and the vlan viewer so i will put down the link in the description you can read all of the overview and the new features and improvements for this network controller version 8.0.7 so i have upgraded my udm pro on the latest controller version 8.0.7 so as you can see on the dashboard uh, there is uh, the same thing which uh, is carry forward from the last version uh, only the improvements you will see here like it, there is a radio tabs uh, option present uh, on the left hand side if you click on the radios it gives you the radios manager you can create a new radios from here directly and even you can view all of the radio settings like uh, all of the unify access point uh, which is running on which wi-fi bands and what channel what channel with is running the tx power and everything for that access point you can even filter it out if you want to check for the 2.4 you can just filter it for 2.4 for 5 gigahertz uh, even the you can check for the mimo 2 cost 2 mimo and the 4 so yeah that's a new feature improvement added you, you can check your ssid and how many access point are uh, broadcasting on that ssid and how many clients are connected on this ssid eight clients are connected on these two ssid uh one client and zero client even you can check the coverage for that access point like you can uh, improve your coverage like this access point says uh, it needs an improvement so you can check these features also and even you can check your client uh, nearby client list here and the coverage and what signals in they are uh, getting and even you can check your connectivity like all clients are connected and there are no association failures if there are uh, the connectivity issues you will get the like the association failures here all the list here and this will uh, give you the environment the nearby uh, ap's channel strength and everything for 2.4 how busy is the channel even you can check the signal strength for the nearby uh, devices uh, which are near to the uh, unify access point I, you can check the speed test from here uh, from the wi-fi man app so yeah that uh, this is a radio manager and they also bought a ports manager where you can view your vlan and everything like uh, if you want to check for e all ports you can just check all ports and uh, you can uh, see the overview of all ports at the UDM Pro, the connection of the UDM Pro port uh, 1 is connected to the Unify switch and the port 9, the WAN port is connected to the e internet connection and everything or, or you can overview and this is the inside tabs where you can check the POE and everything like the packets uh, for each of the 
uh, I mean uh, switch ports and uh, the UDM Pro and everything you can check here for example you can check for just for the UDM Pro and even you can check for the switch like the average uh, it will show you the usage the download and upload activity for uh, for each of the switch ports and uh, they about the VLAN section here so this is a very nice cool features you can uh, check the native VLAN assignment and even you can check the VLAN tagging and tagging you can search for the VLAN how many VLAN is uh, uh, have you created you can search by VLAN ID uh, for example VLAN you just type VLAN 10 it will uh, show you IOT and you even you can check with the name and subnet like oh uh, port one is assigned to which VLAN and everything so they bought these features uh, and which is very cool and nice features this is the radio feature and one of the thing they have added here uh, the wildcard VPN client like from here you can go to the VPN client and here you will see the options to add a VPN client uh, you can upload your wildcard VPN configuration and connect connect the VPN through and right now I haven't set up any via wildcard VPN here. I will test later on So yeah, so they bought lots of improvements and features in this if we check they have uh, improved uh, lots of bug fixes also and One of the features I uh, want to say they brought a sites overview Like uh, for example, I can show you the sites overview on my network controller which are hosted on postify so this is my hostify control let me log in it please so here is my hostify controller so you can check the sites overview on the udm pro there is no multi-site management so i can't check the sites overview for that i have uh, opened the uh, hostify hosted controller here so under the site switcher you can see you can add a new site and you can check the full overview so these features was previously uh, there on the legacy ui but uh, uh, since upgrade uh, to the controller and uh, the features not yet available on the older controller version so you have to switch back to the legacy ui to check the sites overview so that's a good uh, improvement and the new features added now you don't need to switch back to the legacy ui to check the um, uh, sites overview so you can get a full overview here for each of the sites and this is for the unify gateway this is for the switch and this is for the access point like for on this site i have one unify gateway four switches and three access point here it it will give you an options like uh, six update is required two van connection and the uptime and how many networks i have created wi-fi networks and the wi-fi clients how many wi-fi clients are connected and wired client so yeah they have brought these features and it is very nice so you can even add a new site from here so it's good to have it on the new ui don't have to switch into the legacy ui to check the sites overview so i think and also you can check under the hotspot manager you can check the landing page directly from here you can set the landing page from here directly like most of the customer get confused uh, they are checking the hotspot manager on the legacy ui which is has been removed and brought back onto the new ui so you have to be on the new ui and uh, guest portal must be enabled then only you will see the hotspot manager options here even you can check here on the udm pro if i have a guest uh, ssid enabled i will be able to see the hotspot but i haven't have uh, any guest ssid here like uh, on my one of the office sites so yeah i think that's it for the today's video if you like this video please uh, uh, comment down like share and subscribe if you want to support my channel you can uh, support through super thanks and you can join the membership thanks for watching bye